Hey mates, what's up? Hope you are all doing well. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create a self-hosted Telegram shop bot so you won't have to rely on no one, no PayPal, no banks, no bureaucracy, none of that mumbo jumbo. Uh, it's tech crypto, so you off the radar. I made a tutorial on this before, but there was an issue with the Python version. Uh, this project was written in Python 3.8 and many people run into installation problem with the newer versions of Python. That's the thing with Python, you change version, you install extra package and suddenly things start to break. So in this uh, video, I'll not only walk through setting up the bot, but also show you how to manage uh, multiple Python environments properly so your systems stay intact and won't break down. Let's begin. All right, let's uh, set up environment, open the terminal in your uh, Linux machine, write Python, and see python command is not found right pip version not found python 3 version on this machine 3.12 and pip 3 version not found so we need to install all of those i will use the python version manager that call uh, pyenv so just google uh, pyenv github you can read about it if you want look for the dependencies first those packages need to be installed in order to run pyenv. See, Ubuntu, Debian Mint, copy and paste this command, sudo apt and the packages that is needed. Ah, first let's do apt update, update the repository server. Now copy and paste. Yes, installed. Okay, when it finish, now we need to run this command. Call HTTPS, pyenv.run, bash, run it. Okay, finish. Now you need to copy those three lines to your bash rc file. So I'll go to the home directory, under view, make sure that you can see hidden files and paste those three lines somewhere on the bash rc text file, save it. Control S and let's close and open the terminal that the change will take effect. Let's install git package as well. Okay, so now if you write pyvn version, you can see that it's controlled the Python version that runs on this machine. So if you see that the pyvn is not main Python version manager just run the command sudo apt install python is python3 and then write py and versions and then you will see that it's control the python versions of the systems now let's go to the python official website let's see which one is the latest package okay so we see that the latest package is 3.13 and let's check now the bot repository and as you can see they use 3.8 or higher but when i tried to use 3.13 it didn't work the part it was a lot of uh, crashes and uh, missing packages so let's first install the latest version just write 5 and install 3.3 and it, it will take some time and if you write after that 5n versions you see the latest version installed um, and let's install also python 3.9 because it's close to 3.8 the one they're using the grid project that's the bot we're going to use and if you write 5n dash v you can see that we have two python version so we will set uh, 3.9 as our global Python version that will run on this machine. So this Linux machine will use 3.9. And after you run the, the command 5n global and the version, right again 5n versions, you see that it's set to default. Pip also have been installed. Now I want to install the virtual machine. Just write pip install virtual env and install it. Oh, I see there is a new version so let's update the version pip installed upgrade pip and we all set now we can 
set up the bot environment. Basically, a virtual environment is very important to use because you don't want to use the global environment, your Linux machine, Python dependencies. You want to isolate each project with its own dependencies, its own packages, its own uh, Python version. Because let's say you run a couple of projects, let's say from uh, GitHub, you don't want it clash with one each other. So you need to isolate with virtual environment each project. Okay, let's go to the home directory and create a folder for our project, our chatbot. Uh, let's call it a shopbot. And we will create virtual environment. Just one virtual and VNV. Enter. And as you can see, if you go to the VN directory, under Bing, there is the activate script. Um, that's the script that will activate the virtual environment. Just write source and the path to this uh, script to the activate script and as you can see now we have the virtual environment okay let's download the project's files to this folder to the shop bot make sure you have git installed if not just write sudo apt install git and then you write git clone and the project path and navigate to the Great folder, activate the virtual environment. Now let's install the requirements, so pip requirements and the uh, requirements location. That's why we uh, changed the um, environment to Python 3.9 because in the newest version of Python, it's always break. So now it should work. And as you can see, all the requirement de package dependencies has been installed successfully. Then you create the core, python space dash oo core dot py script. Okay, now it's created the config file. Let's go over it fast. sudo nano n. As you can see, I'm enabling only the English language. Different languages, I keep it on English fallback language also english i want to keep it simple okay database is a local database yeah, but you can change location so we need to enter the token that that's basically the api the talk with the bot so navigate to telegram look for bot father and as you can see there's so many bot fathers it's so confusing you need to check one with the vmark the blue vmark that's the official one all the rest are kind of I think scamming or something. Yeah, and create new bot, give it a name, description, and we got the HTTP API, copy the API, paste it in the configuration file under the token. Payment, let's say change it to USD dollar United States dollar and the sign the currency symbol is dollar keep the cash as default and I don't want to use credit card payment because we're going to use crypto for that save the file okay let's run the call now we will click on the bot address we got from bot father and as you can see the bot is running so as you can see it's quite self-explanatory the first menu that we get is the manager menu you can click on uh, product and add product give description name a price and you can add the image just drag it to the menu send it will upload to the database and you have a product okay let's switch to user mode interface and you can see you have a couple of menus as well like my orders you can add funds 
with uh, cash, language, help, support, guide. It's quite self self explanatory. You click product and you can order the product if you have enough funds. So now I want to change a couple of stuff. Let's go to the code and uh, we'll go to the English en.py under the string folder. I want to change the cash to pay with crypto. Let's stop the bot and start it again. And you see if we click add funds, say with crypto. Okay, now let's add the description how to actually pay with crypto. Look for this sentence and do um, search in the page. Okay, we found it. Payment cash. Let's change it. Uh, let's write please send the funds the following wallet. New line, Bitcoin address. Monero address, what else we have? Oh, USDT. We can give a link um, if you have external way to get it. Actually, I can use my uh, tip link that I use with a uh, Trucador, Onion Pay, Anon Pay. Let's mention that the gas fee paid by the customers and send a proof of payment to the shop owner okay and mention your f username let's stop the bot start again oh oh yeah i forgot okay save the file okay you see now when someone use the pay with crypto you get this message and if you click on the link you will get go to my uh, my onion pay website if you want to create your own uh, onion payment I'm, i made a video about it you can look in my uh, channel okay what else you want to change let's get rid of bot info yeah, it should be under worker.py just remove the option from the keyboard let's unmark it comment it we just need to mark it as comment. Let's start the bot again. Stop and start it. And info is not there and not language. What else? Let's edit the, the guide link. Let me look for that. Okay, we find it help message just change for whatever you want stop the board start again and as you can see our change has been made okay you can stop the bot i think that's enough for now you can go over the um, management menu and uh, play with that. It's quite self self explanatory. You have the transaction, the managers, the order, products. Not not hard to understand. Okay, so if you have any question, uh, write in the comment. I promise I will answer as soon as possible. Thank you and have a nice day. Cheers.